All right, AP students, I've got another update for the AP exam. This is the AP testing guide. I will link this PDF in Canvas, and I'm going to go through it with you real quick. It does say there are 51 pages. That seems overwhelming. Um, the pages uh, have limited information, and some of them don't apply to us, so you actually get through it pretty quickly. Um, a review, we're going to talk about your AP exam ticket, things to do before the, the test, what to do on test day, and then how your test is going to be scored. Now you're going to receive credit. Okay, you're going to get your e-ticket uh, two days before the exam. So by May 18th, our exam is on May 20th. So by May 18th, you should be looking for your ticket. Don't wait until the 20th to look for it because if we have a problem finding it, um, we need time to resolve it before the test actually starts because the time of the test is set. Okay, you can't just take it whenever you want to. Also, when you get your number, do not share it with anybody else. If that happens, uh, they'll just remove your ability to take the test and... and um, That'll be it. Okay, reminder that our test is, we're right here, we're English Language and Composition. So that's Wednesday, May 20th, and we're on Mountain Time. So we're at 12 p.m. on the 20th. There are makeup dates. So if you have technical difficulties or if you don't like the way that you performed or whatever, um, there's a June makeup date. And so right here, it's English Language and Composition. It's June 5th, and then we're Mountain Time at 10 a.m., okay? Um, that's the reminder about the schedule. Uh, here's some in, some stuff about what to expect on the exam this year. The way that you can submit, you can submit your response in three ways. When you log in to take your test, you enter your e-ticket, you'll see the prompt. You remember it's going to be a rhetorical analysis prompt, and you're going to have like 45 minutes to write your response. You can write it, so you're going to open the prompt on your browser and then you can, on another program like Microsoft Word or Google Docs or whatever, you can write your response and then copy and paste it over. Or you can attach a file like we've done on Canvas where you write it, you save it to your computer, and then you attach it. Um, or you can handwrite your response and then take pictures of it with your phone and then submit it through your phone. Those are your three options. And here are the instructions for how to do each of those. Um... Don't need to worry about music theory exam for my class or world language exams. Some of you might be taking those exams, so there's information there for you for that as well. Okay, if you need uh, accommodations, if you qualify for accommodations, there's information right there. Um, if you want to take a makeup exam, um, here's the instructions right there. All right. Five things to do before the test. Make sure you review your contact information. That, that Make sure the College Board has your accurate email address that you would like to receive emails from. Uh, that's where they'll send your e-ticket to. If you uh, don't get it there, you can log into your account on the College Board website, and you should see it there. Um, also, make sure ahead of time that you check your technology. Whatever computer or device that you're going to be using uh, to take the exam, make sure that you... Um, test it out ahead of time. Um, you can practice submitting your response. That's this number three right here. And if you go to this website, it's um, the the link was cb.org, so collegeboard.org, but it's just the initial cb.org backslash AP demo. And you come here and it gives you a walkthrough for the exam and then practicing with the demo and how to submit uh, the exam. And I've never actually gone to this part right here. So put your AP ID in there and then continue. So I don't have that. So you guys can practice that. You can see um, what it's like to actually submit. Okay. Um, gather what you need before the exam. You are allowed to use notes and any other reminders if you want, you know, a, you know, a graphic organizer for an outline or your rhetorical devices notes or whatever. Have that before you need it. Have Get it ready to go the day before so that you're not looking for it on the day of the exam. And then make sure two days before that you have your e-ticket. And if you don't have it, contact me or let's and let's figure out how to find it ASAP. Because if you wait until the 20th to look for your ticket and then we can't find it and the test time starts, we just lose that time. So we want to have everything resolved before before there's any problems. Okay, there's more steps right here for each of those things that I just talked about. Um, some things that you need on exam day. So you can see this is all for all tests, except for those with portfolio components, and we do not have a portfolio. So the, this is the required material for you on the day of the test.
Okay. Um, and these are for the other tests that do have portfolios and things. Okay. Optional resources right there. Um, look for your, uh, your e-ticket two days before your each exam. There's an exam day checklist right here. You can uh, look at that. You can make sure you check off the things that you need. Here's the stuff for the exam day. We have our timing is uh, 45 minutes. So read the question and develop the response. That's pretty easy. All right. I mean, it's a pretty easy process, right? Um, some suggestions on your testing environment. I know you're going to be at your house. May, see if you can find a secluded area where you won't be distracted by siblings or parents. Make sure everybody knows that you're be, gonna, going to be taking the AP exam. And um, that, you know, for that hour, you need to be uh, allowed the privacy to do so. Okay, you may, you may not incorporate work which is not your own. So you, you should not be looking up uh, sources online or anything and copying and pasting anything from there. Um, check in to the exam before the exam start time. So the exam starts at noon. Get in there, you know, 30 minutes before to make sure that you get in. And you'll see a timer when it says the exam starts. There's some stuff about answering questions, managing your time, how to submit your response. Make sure you submit it. I think when there's, you have, it says time left to submit work. Don't wait until time runs out before you submit. Then you can't submit. You need to submit your work before that time runs out. So when there's five minutes left, you need to submit something. Um, problem solving for what goes wrong. Here's information about the test scores, how to get credit and placement. Uh, most colleges are agreeing that they will accept this credit on this exam. And then that's it. Okay, I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to attach this. You can go through this in more detail, but I wanted to give you an overview. Please let me know if you have any questions. Good luck.